We got some new wheels for the E90 M3 and they just might be my new favorite wheel. Now, Apex has always been one of my favorite wheel brands for many, many years. They've always provided extremely high quality wheels while also being very cost effective for the average consumer. To kick things off, let's go ahead and unbox the front wheels first, and then we can jump on to the rear. For those of you that haven't guessed it as yet, I went with the Apex VS 5 RS. Now this is going to be their latest addition to their forge line. They're super lightweight, extremely high quality wheels and I think they're going to be absolutely perfect on the E90. So now let's go ahead and unbox these wheels really quickly. One thing I can always appreciate is the packaging. Apex definitely takes the time to make sure that the wheels are packaged really nicely. Now let's take a look at these wheels. <laughs> wow, look at this. Gosh, guys, take a look at this. Look at this color. You can see all the brush design on the face. And even on the spokes, the attention to detail is really, really nice. The brush finish is very clean. I'm not sure how much of it is coming off on camera, but in person, it looks absolutely fantastic. Over here, you can see their forged logo and also the VS5 RS. And even over here with the small details of their CNC machined Apex logo on the face, everything just looks well thought out, super clean. I'm really, really happy with this. And I think I made the right choice going with this particular color. Now this is their brushed clear. So it is a raw finish with a clear on top. Really shows off the design of the wheel. I think it highlights all the key areas that Apex focused on when they designed this wheel. And the engineering behind it is really astounding. Even in these small areas where the lug nuts go, you can see that they really took the time to machine all of these surfaces within the spokes. Everything looks to be laid out very clean, very nice and apex really designed this wheel to be their lightest wheel to date i'll actually throw up the weight of this wheel in its current form without any tires mounted and then after when we get tires installed i'll show you guys the weight of that as well As far as specs for the front, we will be running a 18 by 10 plus 25. And then for the rear, we'll be running a 18 by 11 plus 25. Now, based on my research, this should be the ideal spec for the setup that I'd like to run, giving me perfect fitment, both front and rear. But once we mount the tires on and get everything set up, we'll be able to see exactly how close or how far off we are from exactly where I want it to be. And lastly, I just wanted to give you guys just a quick look at the barrel. Another great feature that Apex decided to add into these wheels would be the unpainted neural beads. Now, this is a good feature to have, whether you guys drive your car on the street or the track. I do know a lot of repeated hard acceleration and braking can cause the tire to slip, thus forcing the wheels out of balance. So having the neural beads there definitely help to reduce that issue. As far as TPMS sensors go, you are able to run the OEM sensors on these wheels. So I actually went ahead and picked up a set of four that I'll be installing right now.
And last up, the tires. So I decided to go a different route this time around. Normally I usually go with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, but this time I decided to go with Continental Extreme Contact Sport, but this is actually the second version. So this is the newest Extreme Contact Sport version from Continental. So I'm hoping the grip is gonna be just as good, if not slightly better than the Michelin's. And as far as price, they are slightly cheaper than the Michelin's. So if you want something that will perform just as good for a little bit less, these will be my recommendation. And as far as the sizing goes, we decided to go a little bit aggressive for this setup in the front. We're going with 275, 35, 18. And then for the rear, we're going with the 295, 35, 18. So I'm definitely going for the meaty setup on this car. So hopefully these work out exactly how I want them to. The profile of these tires are really nice. They have a very nice sidewall. And you guys can see the comparison between the 275 and then the 295. Overall, I'm very impressed with the quality of these tires. They have a very nice sidewall, so I'm hoping it's definitely gonna help tremendously in the handling department. And that is pretty much the setup. Now let's go ahead and head on over to the tire shop, get these tires mounted on the wheels, and then we'll come back and throw them on the car. Just like that we are back home the wheels are finally mounted on the tires i'm really liking the look of these continentals the profile is exactly what i was going for ideally i wanted to do a somewhat meaty setup but i didn't want the sidewall to be too square so i think these 275s and 295s really worked out great in that regard now before we get these mounted on the car i do want to go ahead and install my old Max Chanel studs along with some Project Kicks lug nuts. I've actually had these on my 335 previously. So I'm gonna go ahead, install those on the car and then we can go ahead and mount these beautiful wheels.
and just like that i hope you guys enjoyed that quick cinematic of the new wheels on the e90 m3 i'm definitely going to be rocking this look for some time i think the apex vs5 rs matches this car absolutely perfectly the finish everything about it the spec the offset is just really perfect it's exactly what i wanted it's the ideal look for this car and the center caps honestly are just the finishing touch to these wheels so that's gonna do it for today's video guys if you enjoyed the content go ahead and hit the subscribe button like the video and comment down below let me know what you think about the new apex vs5 rs on the e90 m3 and lastly i want to give a big shout out to apex for making these amazing wheels i highly highly recommend them if you guys are in the market for new wheels for your bmw definitely go ahead and check them out i'll leave all the links down below in the description so with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video we gone